So we're talking about skin pressure injuries. The clinical advisory team at Intellectability has put together a, a, a pretty comprehensive document about skin pressure injuries in people with IDD, and you can download it at replacingrisk.com. Today, we're going to talk about stages. So there are lots of different ways to stage them, or there's some that are hard to stage, but we're going to talk about the four big ones. Stage one, two, three, and you guessed it, stage four. So what does a stage one look like, a stage one pressure injury? Basically, the skin is intact. It may be reddish in color. Uh, in people that have darker skin, it may be darker in color. Uh, it may feel different. It may be a little softer, maybe a little bit more firm. Um, but basically, you're going to see some sort of difference in the skin than the normal skin that might be around it. Stage two. Stage two gets a little deeper. You're going to have maybe a blister or a shallow ulcer it gets into the layers of the skin itself and is a little bit more significant. And those can be fairly painful as well. It might look red, might look a little darker in color. Um, but just again, it's a little bit more significant. When you get to stage three, stage three is pretty significant. So it's gone all the way through the layers of the skin and it's into the, the tissues underneath the skin, like the subcutaneous fat uh, tissues that are in the skin. Sometimes these don't hurt anymore because the nerves have been damaged as well. So they can actually be painless. And a person who doesn't communicate with words, it may be really hard to be able to tell, um, you know, what, what is actually happening. Stage four, that's, that's pretty rough there. So stage four, you get into damage to the muscles, the underlying bones, underlying deep tissues. So Stage one, two, three, and four. Again, there are some other ones you can find more information about on the document. We'll talk a little bit more about this on uh, the next episode.